Hey guys, welcome to another Vegas tutorial brought to you by Techtopia. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a little advanced crystal text. Um, my previous tutorial was a basic crystal text. Now I'm going to show you a more advanced and complex way of making crystal text. And uh, that thing you saw at the beginning there, that's what we're going to replicate today. Uh, that's a little thing I created a while ago. And uh, that is what we're going to create. It's advanced crystal text. And you're going to notice that this version that you just saw is different than the version in the other video because this version is glossier and it's more animated and it just looks cleaner and uh, really uh, weird but it looks better in my personal preference anyway so alright so what we're gonna do is pop up three video tracks one two three and to open up a video track all you gotta do is right click anywhere on your timeline and hit insert video track or use the keyboard shortcut control shift Q it really doesn't matter now we're gonna have track one, two, and three. Right now we're only gonna work with track three. So what we're gonna do on track three is uh, put our picture or video. Now obviously you're gonna probably want to work with a video because uh, videos move and pictures don't. So that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna go to File, Import Media, and I got this clip here that I uh, created in Adobe After Effects. Uh, so please don't ask me how I made it. Uh, let me show you what it looks like basically all these uh, particle things uh, flying all over the place so that's what I'm gonna use for my uh, text so please don't ask me how I made it maybe I'll make a tutorial one day but I don't know alright so that's uh, my video clip I'm gonna use so now we can uh, just leave uh, uh, you know track number three alone so I'm just gonna minimize it by hitting the button over here and now that indicates that we're not gonna mess with uh, track number three anymore now what we're, gonna do, what we're gonna do is go to media generators go to text and drag in default text and just drag it on track number two and we can call it whatever we want I'm just gonna call it Techtopia and I'm gonna change the font it helps to have a really thick font thin fonts or script fonts don't work too well the thicker the font the more of the video clip you're gonna see I have a really cool font here called Jailbird Jenna if I can find it uh, here it is Jailbird Jenna okay so now we're just gonna leave it. Uh, we ca you can increase or decrease the font size if you want, but I'm just gonna leave it at 72. So uh, you can do whatever you want though. And now what we're gonna do is duplicate the track. So you can just right click and hit duplicate track and you'll now have uh, two copies of the track, but uh, now we don't really need this first track. So you can actually only pop up two video tracks from the beginning because you can just uh, duplicate the track to uh, you know, save a little time. but. Uh, Either way, you're going to need two tracks, uh, one with your, both of your text layers. And if we play this back, right now we got our video, but it's behind our text. We're going to have it inside of our text. So let me show you what to do here. So uh, on our track number two, we're going to change the compositing mode. Now you can only do this in Sony Vegas Pro. So uh, you can't do this in Movie Studio or Platinum. So sorry, but you know, that happens. So on track number two, we're going to go to our compositing modes. And we're going to change this to custom. And now, once we uh, pop that up, this will open. We're going to go to Sony Height Map and double click it. And we're going to change these settings. For amplitude, it's going to be 0.04. For elevation, it's going to be 0.08. Uh, height scale can just be left at 1. That's all the way up. And uh, source channel will be at intensity. And you can lower your smoothness a bit. I like to have it at 9 or 8. Uh, either one works fine. I'm just going to have it at 9. And then all this is going to be unchecked. All right. So now we have a different compositing mode. Now what we're going to do is go up to this uh, next track here. We change the compositing mode on number 2. We're going to go to track number 1. Click the compositing mode. We're going to change it to multiply mask. And now you're going to see nothing appears. But if we play it back, there is our text. And it's... Uh, starting to appear now it takes a while for the text to uh, fully appear it's uh, based on the video the more video you see the more text you see so I'm just gonna bring up my track number three here and to uh, see more of the text we can go to our pan and crop window and uh, just have it zoomed in quite a bit and then we can like keyframe it and then zoom it in like all the way and that will uh, totally allow you to have full crystal text if we play it back there you go, there's your crystal text and it quickly uh, fills up with uh, your video. So that's basically it. I know it's advanced crystal text, but it's actually really not that hard. 
Uh, you can do so many things with this. If you uh, watch one of my basic intro creation tutorials and uh, you apply this crystal text in there, uh, you can really create something cool. So uh, there you go. That's uh, advanced crystal text. If you're having difficulties with this, you might want to try the basic crystal text tutorial. I'll have it as posted as a video response, but that's basically it. Hope this tutorial uh, worked out for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know I did because I've been wanting to do this for a while. Anyways, thanks for watching. Rate this video, comment on it, subscribe to my videos. Do whatever you want. Uh, it all helps. So, anyways, thanks for watching this Vegas tutorial and take care.